Today's topic, how children who get to see the authority break the laws and commit crimes repeatedly end up becoming members of an insurgency because of what it does to their psychology. We're going to talk about some long-term things that have been going on. So um, who wants to come on and discuss this? How, how does the, the authority train an insurgency publicly right in front of that's the discussion. And, and, and we're going to talk about uh, the fallout. Are you live right now? Martin, oh how are you doing? God. What's up, man? How's it going? Pretty good. Did you hear the topic? Huh? Did you hear the topic? The topic? Um, could you repeat it for me, please? Uh, 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 how the authority who breaks the law and commits crimes repeatedly train children who get to see that um, into becoming an insurgency or the recruits for the cartel and criminal organizations. Yeah. So we're going to talk about some long-term shit. So okay. in real life, I have meltdowns. I have freakouts and things like that. Some older men, two, two older men in my homeowner association and a black guy started sex trafficking people to ocean shores for older, yeah. for older military veterans. So for other old retired service members, to part participate in rape, sex trafficking, and shit like that. Allowing them all to be documented. All of these older veterans, because of what's going on in my homer association, uh, they were shipping, men in my homer association were shipping women and children to Ocean Shores, Washington, to be sex trafficked. So those older veterans were recorded and documented. It resulted in some homicides. If you go back through the history, there was some homicides involved, or not homicides, some people died in self-defense, getting these women and children out of being sex trafficked that were sent there by men in my homeowners association. Those older veterans recruited younger soldiers to participate, active duty soldiers to participate. So those younger soldiers could be recorded. Now you think about the, these things and I talk about um, a lack of confidence in the chain of command results in the boots on the ground training and insurgency. What happens is, is you allow those things to happen so these, it, it, I witnessed this from my own eyes. I, I went out on the streets and did my job. Drug dealers ask for veterans, active duty soldiers who, who partake in cocaine and, and shit like that. And you ask them why. They, I, my supplier wants me to give them a discount. The supplier I'm getting my drugs to, from wants me to give the military and the police or whoever does it, the authority, a discount. We want to give them a discount. They so said, why do you, you want to give them a discount? And they say because those men who actively party doing those things in front of the police and the rest of the military have a CO, a commanding officer, that will cover that shit up. And when you get a commanding officer that will cover that shit up, word of mouth spreads where soldiers look for that commanding officer that will cover up crimes for them, which puts the cartel in a perfect situation to document shit on the soldiers because their own chain of command is allowing the cartel to document that shit because they don't want anybody to know their subordinates are the ones committing the crimes. Right. Yeah, the military yeah. gets a discount. They get a discount on pedophilia, uh, sex trafficking, and hard drugs. They get a discount, but they, yeah. don't, they don't have enough common sense to realize. You're getting a discount because the cartel wants the, the, the drug dealer to tell them about you. So if I was a drug dealer and you were, a, you were an airborne ranger, my yeah. supplier would say, give that person 40% off the regular price. Give them a 40 bucks for an eight ball, 20 bucks for an eight ball of Coke. You, yeah. you start buying more Coke than, than you can actually afford, and you start partying. It boils over to where the police are involved, right? Your chain of command is involved in your party, and they cover that shit up for you so you can maintain your career. Yeah, yeah, of course. When they, so the, the supplier, the, 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 the dealer goes to the, to the cartel. I sold that guy Coke, and he fucking partied out of control. The police were involved. People were raped. All kinds of shit happened. And the police and the military covered it up. And then the cartel goes, perfect. That's the person we're going to follow for 15 years. Yeah, right. Because that person is going to entrap everybody else. But I think about, um, in real life, the old men in my, com in my community were sex trafficking women and children to ocean shores. It resulted in homicide, like people dying. And they yeah. did still, the military still didn't stop it. They covered it up so other soldiers could continue to be put in that situation. So then we're, we, we talk about a, a, an insurgency or something like that. Um, yeah. If you're in my house 
or you're watching the situation take place in the bushes across the street. You watch these things take place as a child, right? You watch the military, you watch the police aid in a bed in sex trafficking, homicide, extortion, pedophilia, bestiality, all kinds of crazy shit. As a kid, you watch this shit happen. And this is what happened. I'm talking how these kids ended up wanting to fucking fight and kill American soldiers. Yeah. Five-year-olds, 10-year-olds. They wanted to kill American soldiers. So these kids right. watch this shit happen over and over again, right? And they watch from the bushes, right? And then they pretty yeah, soon yeah. They, go, they feel bad for me. They feel bad for me watching the military repeatedly attack me so my neighbors can fuck children. So these, these kids start feeling bad. They start sneaking into my house, right? The kids start sneaking into my house, giving me and my wife medical care. The children start putting cold rags on our head, giving us aspirin, fucking bandages, electrolytes, water. These kids yeah. start sneaking in and out of the house fucking helping us. They repeatedly have to sneak in, you know, from five years old, six years old, seven years old, eight years, repeatedly sneaking into my house to save us from dying from the hands of the police and the military mm -hmm. to save us. It gets yeah. to the point where, where the, you're, let's say you're one of these kids, you're giving me medicine. The bad guys show up when you're in my house, you have to hide in the walls and you hear the, you hear the military pounding on me, take this fucking screw, screwdriver and kill this person or people are going to get raped. Bad shit's going to happen. You need to pick up the screwdriver and kill people. You hear it over and over and over again. They leave. You give me medical care. You give my wife medical care. Yeah. You see Matt from the FBI set that shit up as a kid. You give me, you sneak in, you give me medical care. You do this over and over and over again. Yeah. Tell, tell as a child, as a eight year old kid, 10 year old kid, you no longer know the difference between good police officers, good military and bad ones. You think they're all devils. Mm -hmm. And this is literally a, a situation that unfolded in my house. Yeah. At a kid crazy. giving me medical care, at a kid giving me medical care, some military men showed up to the door here and mm -hmm. th there was an argument that broke out. The kid hid up in my room. He was hiding upstairs. I'll show you. He was hiding up, up in the room right here. And, yeah. and the, 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 me and the, like, there's an argument, there's a fight going on. Uh, tr I call it a trauma induced blackout. I don't know what fucking happened. But the yeah. kid, after saving me, let's say to me, giving me medical care, listening to the military and the police tell me to stab people, do bad shit, and repeatedly torture me so that I would. The kid so picked up my screwdriver and a, and a, and a pocket knife. Uh, I think the kid was like 10, no, no older than 12 years old. A screwdriver and a pocket knife. And he jumped yeah. from up there, two stories. He Big jumped money. from up there. He yeah. jumped from up there, down here, trying to kill soldiers. A yeah. little kid trying to that kill is, soldiers. Yeah, that's seriously fucked up, man. A little kid. Yeah, tried. that's insane. So you, you think yeah. that the government is... Um, you, okay, if I'm understanding correctly, is this the government's fault? or? or uh, this is the Airborne Rangers. The this Airborne is the, Rangers. The, the Airborne... Whoever's in charge of the Airborne Rangers and the Pleat Pierce County Sheriff's Department. Yeah. A lot, now we get somewhere. These men knew that they could do these things and get away because they had no confidence in the military yeah. and the police doing their job in my community. These children had to give me medical care and my wife medical care because the bad guys had no confidence in yeah. the military and the police actually catching them. Right. They had no, they had no, like, they're like, we can fucking publicly come torture these people in front of children and the police will never do their job and stop them. The military yeah. will never do their, and these children started fucking trying to kill soldiers. If I call it a trauma-induced blackout. They just go fucking crazed. You know, you're so scared. You're so scared. You're so scared for your life. And then something just snaps. And the kids follow through with the directions that, that, that the people are trying to force on you. Yeah, yeah. But that, that, uh, Literally. Uh, uh, I, I talk about this guy, the Sears, this guy from the military, the FBI, a Fed. He shows up to do roof repairs. A Sears, yeah. I streamed it. He was the Sears roof repairman. Mm -hmm. Children got to watch him fucking beat and torture my wife. And then the police make him a hero. Children yeah. got to watch him beat and torture me. And then the police make him a hero. Those That's children crazy. now go, fuck, yeah. I cannot trust the police. I can't trust the FBI. I can't yeah. trust the military. I can't tell the difference between the good guys and the bad guys. Yeah. And they train these children like that. And they've been doing it for fucking years. They train these children so where they don't know the difference between the good guys and the bad guys. Yeah. Right. And then the, 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 the children try to end up, I mean, the, the, the airborne rangers, they end up have fucking kill, kill American citizens so they can cover up their own fucking illegal activity. Yeah.
Yeah, you're right. Damn. It's Yo, fucking Martin, nuts. Can I, can, I ask you, can I ask you a question? Yeah, you, you can ask a question, then I'm going to get off on this. But um, okay. I think about how many times children, children, while me and my wife were injured, fought the American military. The military yeah, that was coming right. to my house. Children. Fucking mm -hmm. trying to stab them. Th fucking throw. I mean, it's crazy. Children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, children, man. That's but they were they were sex trafficking women and children from my area to ocean shores, and yeah. it, it, it resulted in some deaths of some people. And the yeah, police still course, didn't stop man. them from doing it. They just yeah. made sure other active duty soldiers would get involved for blackmail and treason. Yeah. They were setting people up to be blackmailed for treason in the future. Yeah, right. Of course. Fine. But anyways, go ahead and ask your question, and I'm going to end this feed because I got to go finish getting ready. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, Man, um, what, what do you think about uh, the government being run by pedophiles? I don't, I don't think that the government is run by pedophiles, but I do think that um, if the chain of command can't do their fucking job, if the police yeah. or the military or the FBI, I mean, you think for over 15 years, they've been sex trafficking people out of my house, bringing kids yeah, to be right. sex trafficked. 15, and you get like children, children are fighting them. Yeah, children man. are fighting, I mean. Children are fighting the fucking police and the military. It's Children. Up, man. Yeah, yeah. Children. And then and and, and then you, you go, how does the cartel get in get into your get into your community? They yeah. they they find the police that turn a blind eye to that shit. They find the military who turned a blind eye to that shit. So they can document it happening again. Right. And once they document it, that cartel now has free reign to do what they want in the area because the local sheriffs can't do anything to them. The local sheriffs cannot arrest the cartel that documented them doing that shit, can they? They can't, yeah. they can't arrest any gang member. They can't do anything. And, and, and they're stuck because there's children going, I tried to kill a soldier because the police allowed them, that were allowing that bad shit to, I tried to kill a police officer because the, they were the bad guys. So that, then those cartel members reach out to you if you were one of those kids. Hey, you want a job? Yeah. You, now you saw with your own eyes. You saw with your own eyes, right? The military yeah. and the police. Yeah. They're the fucking murderers. They're the rapists. They're the pedophiles. They're the sex traffickers. Sell some drugs for us or help us, right? When the police are in your neighborhood, fucking call us. When yeah. they show up for a bus, let us know. Give us a yeah, heads up. Yeah. A, yeah, you, you as a child, you give me as a cartel member the heads up, and, and I'll give you a heads up when they're coming to, to fucking oh, yeah. torture the guy yeah. you were helping again. Yeah, right. right, right. You, you were giving medical, Martin medical care? I'll let you know every time they're, they're, they're coming to do that shit if you let me know when the police come to my area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely, man. But ah, oh, dude, I can't, I can't, can't believe it. Children, man, like shouldn't have to go through that shit. You a know? kid, I, I figure it's like the, so that's like the people ask me all the time. The scariest thing I've ever seen, and it wasn't because it was like scary, like of my life. I, 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 a kid lunging twenty feet through the fucking air with a screwdriver and a pocket knife to. Yeah.